So getting that turnkey solution, again, speaking to the fact that organizations need to be more agile, being able to roll that out. The interesting part, I think, will be what software-defined network, if those things are not part of the software-defined network, if they don't have that capability built in, do they become islands of technology yeah, yeah. and not an integral building block it's, it's, of the cloud? I think it's too early to call. Um, I've, been, I was, I've been thinking about this a lot since VMworld and since the Nasir announcement. Stu, we've been covering VC. You've got some extensive work, and obviously you, you, know, you have the EMC background. Um, VCE has been delivering some real value, but it's a flagship-like offering, in my opinion. What's your take on VCE's impact? Yeah. I mean, this year it doesn't really, hasn't come out directly and challenged VCE, but it's an emerging trend. VCE has been out there with some high functionality. Yeah, you know, because uh, you know, VCE puts the whole stack together, so there's networking there, but as Bob said, I'd agree, it's more of a compute. You know, the, you know, the compute and the storage is the more critical part. If you look at VCE and VSpec, so you know, that's been growing, has some flexible options. Uh, you know, Wikibon research shows that we think about two-thirds of all you know, IT environments in the enterprise are, are going to be some kind of converged architecture within the next you know, kind of three to five years. Okay, uh, so we have to break on time here, but I want to go down the line. I want to get, while we have two analysts on, on the, uh, in the interview process here, I want to get you guys uh, to quickly summarize or state what's going to happen with software-defined networking, software-defined data center in the next year. What's your uh, assessment and view of this next year? Uh, just the, the macro scene around this whole movement, network virtualization, software-defined networking, and ultimately the positioning and jockeying for position around software-defined data center. Bob, we'll start with you. Get ready for the wave of software-defined everything. <laughs> so first, we're going to see a lot of hype, and then I think um, following that, we're going to see a lot, of, a lot of organizations trying to educate the end users on what software-defined networking, or at least what their implementation of software-defined networking is going to be. And then um, hopefully by the end of next year, there's going to be some more products and people can start evaluating and testing them. Stu, what's your take? So, you know, VMware's role with their partner ecosystem, Microsoft's impact, Intel with what they're doing. There's a lot of companies that are trying to get into networking. We've talked about that, what we saw at IDF, uh, you know, Microsoft with their new Hyper-V3, what VMware's doing to take more and more, you know, intelligence and just bake it into the platform. So there's kind of a shake up as to where the intelligence and the value in software lives and where the dollars are going to flow. So, you know, big changes in the ecosystem. Two awesome analysts, really, with a great perspective. Self-defined networking, networking is hot, about time. We need to have this ball move down the field, faster speeds, uh, virtualization. Uh, this is theCUBE, Bob La Liberté from ESG, and Stu Miniman from Wikibon. This is SiliconANGLE.TV, theCUBE, breaking down all the signal from the noise here at SDNs. We'll be right back with our next guest uh, right after this short break.